I'll show you how to connect any domain or subdomain to any web hosting plan or server you might have using the name server or a record methods. So I have a domain name on Hostinger that currently goes absolutely nowhere. And I have a SiteGround hosting plan that allows me to create unlimited websites. Let's take advantage of this and connect the two. I've quickly created an empty website on SiteGround, but the domain still goes nowhere. For the connection to work, I'll need to point SiteGround's name servers to my Hostinger domain. So to get started, click on Site Tools and you'll see the IP and name servers of your website. For SiteGround, it's ns1.siteground.net and ns2.siteground.net. If you're not using SiteGround, don't worry, because absolutely every single web hosting provider has their name servers in the control panel somewhere. It always begins with NS, so no matter which provider you're using, just look for them in your control panel. Once I have my SiteGround name servers, I'll jump back to Hostinger, where I've purchased my domain name and navigate to the DNS area. I'll click on Change Name Servers and select Change Name Servers again. Now I'll be able to paste in the two values I have from SiteGround and click on Save. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now my domain from Hostinger will connect with my SiteGround plan after some time has passed. It can take anywhere from 10 minutes to a couple of hours for it to start working because the servers pretty much need to tell all of the servers around the world that something has changed. The name server method is a great way to do this, but it doesn't suit every single situation. For example, if you're using subdomains to go to different websites as I do, emitreviews.com goes to my website, which is hosted on AWS, but I have hostinger.emitreviews.com, which goes to my Hostinger website. I also have a2hosting.emitreviews.com, which goes to my a2 hosting website. You get the idea. Subdomains are free and I don't want to buy separate names for each website I create, but if I'd change my name servers on emitreviews.com, all of these subdomains would go to the same provider. So I need to use separate A records for separate subdomains. Here's how to do that. Here I have an A2 hosting VPS plan and I can see the IP address of my server. The IP address is what we mainly need. I can use it to connect to the VPS control panel where I can create as many sites on that server as I want. So let's do it. I'll create a site called a2control.emitreviews.com and dnstutorial.emitreviews.com. Both of these are a subdomain. Now, as you can see, both of these websites currently go absolutely nowhere because the main emitreviews.com domain is still linked to my AWS plan. But if I would copy the IP address of the A2 hosting server and navigate to the DNS area of my emitreviews.com domain, which I bought on Hostinger by clicking on Domains, then DNS, I can add a new A record pointing to the IP address of my A2 hosting server. For the name, I'll use A2 control, just like I did previously, and I'll point it to the given IP address. I'll do the exact same thing for DNS tutorial as well. Now that both of these domains are linked to my A2 hosting server, I'll go back to my A2 control panel and specify that it should use a2control.emitreviews.com as the domain for the control panel instead of the IP address. And now I can log into my control panel using this subdomain. So this is one use for the subdomain, but I've also created the website dnstutorial.emitreviews.com, which as you can see now, goes to my A2 hosting server, even though the main domain emitreviews.com is still linked to Amazon. So even though I only bought one domain name, I'm now using it for three websites on two separate servers, all thanks to the A record and subdomains. The main drawback of the A record is that if I'd want to use mail services, I'd also have to add MX records separately because these don't get created automatically like with the name server method. So let me know if you run into any issues in the comments down below and I'll make sure to help you out. Watch this video next to learn how to create a web hosting server completely free of charge. And as always, good luck creating your websites.